So I have my drawing. The grid has been removed. All that's left behind is the outer box and all those contour lines that I drew that I mapped out originally on my photograph and then transferred over to my drawing. And I'm going to use either a sketching pencil or an ebony pencil. So the sketching pencil is a 6B that has to do with the level of softness of the lead and also how dark of a value we can reach with that. So these are both good options for what we want to do. Now the biggest challenge with a soft leaded pencil is that color or the value, the graphite's going to go everywhere and you're going to, it's going to easy to turn it into a muddy mess and it, it's going to feel like you're not necessarily um, getting it right where you want it to go, but no worries because the sketching and the ebony pencils are very forgiving in that they erase crisp and clean and so we can always come back and clean up our edges and bring out our bright whites later, okay? Now, the other thing people tend to want to do when using, doing this process is we want to go ahead and dive right in and do those darkest darks first. Here is why I recommend you don't do that. The reason I recommend you don't do that is because of what I just said. That lead wants to go everywhere. And once you go heavy and dark in spots, it's going to want to just travel around the page. And how does that happen? Well, it happens because you carry it on the edge of your hand as you drag your hand across the picture. And so what I'm going to recommend you do is start with sort of your medium tones, your medium tones. Now, what are those? If we're looking at a colored image, which colors are going to fall in the middle in terms of value? Thinking about the color wheel, we want to look right in the middle of that wheel. So we're looking at our reds, our red oranges, our blue greens, our blues. Now, can color in our pictures, can the, the color have been manipulated in terms of its value? Well, sure. It might be a darker version of that color. It might be a lighter version of that color. But when we're thinking about the color in their truest form, that's where those middle grays are. So I'm going to take a look here at my horse and I am going to start in just in some of the, the middle gray of the, the um, top of the neck and the shoulders of the horse here. So I have to come over here and make sure I'm finding the right spot. So here's my mane, which is in this section here, and I'm going to start laying in a little bit of volume right above it. We want to use a soft circular motion and we want to not be pressing very hard. I'm going to just fill this whole space with just a light gray value. It's okay if I see white space below. Here's the cool thing about ebony and sketching pencils. I can be thinking about the texture I want to apply here, but I'm not going to be too worried about leaving open space. Now, that soft leaded pencil is perfect for blending. And there's lots of different types of blending tools out there, but honestly, your finger works pretty good. Now, of course, your hands are going to get dirty. We'll just wash them when we're done. But I like to just dive right in there. Now, if we look at the back of the horse here, we see that it gets a little darker as it approaches the mane, and then the mane itself is in even more shadow. So I'm going to go in a little heavier, applying a little more pressure, and just spending a little bit more time building up those values. And again, I'm going to kind of blend those out as I go. Okay, um, in our lightest areas, like the light color of the hair on the mane here on this guy, one fun thing that you can sometimes do once you get enough of that graphite on your finger is you can actually use that in some of those light spots. Or you can lay in a little bit of value, like in the mane here, and then you can kind of blend it out and kind of build up your value that way. Um, start to 
kind of define the edges of things. Make sure you keep track of where you are on your picture. It would be really easy to lose track of where we are. And let's say, for instance, I had accidentally gone a little too dark in this area. And I realized, oh wait, that's supposed to be a bright area on the picture. Well, what do I do about that? Well, that's the fun thing about sketching pencils. You can brighten those up as you go. But really, we, we tend to do that towards the end. But that's something you want to think about. Oh, it's not a big deal if we go a little bit too dark because we can always come back and play around with it. Now, this is not a fast process. This is not something where you're going to like knock it all out in a class period. We want to take our time with this. We're going to use our colored picture, but also the black and white image, the grayscale one that we printed, to use as a reference for this process. Okay?